And inside is the environment that we've just been looking at in the back. So, so the, the screens are exactly the same as you've just been looking at. Okay. Yeah. And your trigger is just on the side. You can do it with one minute to attach. Yep. You'll see the trigger. I got you. Yeah, and you just yeah, yeah. watch out, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> So that is the export variant. Okay. You know, what happened was the UK Armed Forces to send an air defense. Said, right, where did it go now? Yes. This can look see what we currently have. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so what we have is the IPs here. And there's the yeah. handle. Yeah. 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 So we have this system in Tower, in Tower Hamlet. Mm, I remember. The Americans yeah. insisted on it, didn't they? The only downside of this one is the light on the table talk to the story. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. So, after we came back from Tower Hamlet, <coughs> seven hour defense, <coughs> they said, right, we need, it, we need a 24 hour capability. And in 2015, 2016, we were looking at the export variant, which is our LML. <coughs> this one here? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, and, wow. There are, and there are 60 of these currently in service in the Far East. Really? Yes, across uh, Indonesia and Malaysia. Really? Uh, these are in service. Yeah. This gives the 24 hour capability that I mentioned. Yeah. Um, and do, you, do you reload the missiles by, by hand? I mean, yes, yes, so these are just uh, this mechanism here. You just um, yeah, yeah. Side, yeah, just click it in. That click it in. Just start on a, a market That's missile. Yeah. And the market. Yeah, so this system and can this fire both. This is the IP skip. Is this the this is, yeah, these were on the side of spin. This is the level of aircraft. Right. On the dining side, it's got two of the sensors. It's got an optical sensor. So it stays, it stays, it stays at orientation. Yes, it does. It doesn't spin. No, because there's a big board head on here which always fires downward. Yeah. So when you fly over it on the tank, it magnetically and optically acts as a tank. And with magnetic and, and optic, you can check the tank there. Yeah. And with this over a certain distance, here's the one you're looking at which is the weak point on the tank. Yeah, yeah. It explodes somewhere. How does it do that? How does it explode downwards? Because the warhead and the shape charge are always pointing down. Because it's flying like a yeah. like yeah. bulbous area. So it's charged. Does it, does, it, does, it, does, it, does it sort of dip? And no, it's always shape pointing it's down. Yeah, the, the, the charge is always shaped pointing down. Right. So the flight level is it takes when it's just in the night. What does the damage? This will cut a hole right through the top of the turret. How close is it to the turret by the time? Okay. Okay. What it does is it manages to fuel and the missions are being fired. Which is why you say the turrets being there on the only other lines. It's down to that. A single person in the alley is a good enough guy. So it's in here. Uh, up in, first of all, it's out of the air. Itself, and this is produced for a different factory on the North But this is the actual missile? Yes. So we, right. do, we put together the whole thing. But David, is it a job to load the missile into the, into the, into the launcher? Yes, yes what's well, going on across the guard site? So basically, it's, you'll have your launch tube that's set on a rig, and then yep. the missile would naturally sit, if you can imagine, on a rig. Yep. It sits like this, and then we press, we push the missile up this to the front. Yep. If your weapon system, yep. that's the rear. Right. Um, so it's designed in such a way that it can be used in a confined space. So when this initiates and the launch motor fires it out, there's a special, you have lower pressure that will come out from the back, but there's a special hydro mass that, that dissipates all that. So you can actually use it in a confined area. Right. 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 So you can do it um, another major good selling point on it is that so what's it's... This, uh, you to do that. So this is the front lid, so when this is fired in theatre, basically when the launch rocket initiates and sends the missile out, it will blow out this. This here will then flop down. So how do you install it? How do you put the, how do you put the, 
the rock in. They're shipped inside, they're shipped within. Yeah. And then one within, one fire. Yes. So the you don't tell you, and then you change it. No, no, it's already assembled. I think that's why they're so popular. Yeah, they're so popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so popular. Yeah, 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 they're so once the body pack's put on, that system is live, it's ready to be used. Um, very minimal training required for it, and um, basically the gunner will look for his target um, and decide how far away it is. Mm -hmm. um, so it could be far away or um, a short distance, 20 yep. meters or 80 meters, so yep. up to a total of 800 meters. Then they need to decide, is it, is it a tank, so they want to hit the top of the tank, or do they want to use it for direct attack? So these are the decisions that they need to make. Mm -hmm. And then basically you can transport safety off, it could be integrated the site out, and then through that site we'll see a little red V. They will then initiate the trigger, and basically it uses predictive line of sight, so if you track the tank that you're aiming at for about 3 seconds and then press the button, the missile will leave, but it will use that data and it will follow the tank and go to the top and hit it. So it knows, it knows from what you've done. Yes, so you don't guide it, so once you've hit the button, that's it's a fire forget system. Um, yeah. So this aiming unit is common to the shoulder launch yeah. and LML variants. It's less than 12 kilos for the user right. to put on their shoulder. Um, shoulder ones on the table are one missile. Oh uh, really? Is that, that like, okay. Okay. like a stinger? Like a so uh, we have very close uh, working relationship with the user and frontline command, yeah. um, and that is benefits for both parties. So. For example, in development of the control handle here, so using working with the operator to determine where the buttons should be mm -hmm. uh, to get best use out of the MMI, as well as supporting mm -hmm. trials. Um, in addition, as part of the program, we were able to realise some savings. So the, you, the, the actual angle is, is manually. So if you like to look through the eyepiece, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you that. can see some targets okay. down okay. the factory. I can, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can, yeah. I can, I can see Gifford. <laughs> Don't press that. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Watch out, folks. Okay. But then, then, it, then you, you... Okay, I got it. So, yeah, as part of the program, we were able to realise some savings and able to uh, provide the user with this, the PQ monitor, mm -hmm. which allows the tactical commander to see what the operator sees. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the light bit mobile. And how many countries around the world have bought this? Uh, we're, 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 leaving, we're leaving the world with this one. This one is exhausted.